Hi, this is the Science Chef. In this video, I'll be showing you how to determine the theoretical value for the volumetric analysis of the 2023 NECO Chemistry Practical. If you are yet to watch our tutorials on the qualitative analysis for this practical and they want to do so, we have added the links in the description. Also, if you like what we do in this channel, you can encourage us to do more by dropping a comment in the comment section. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to this channel and turn on your notification bell if this is your first time here. All right, let's start. The volumetric analysis for this year's NECO chemistry practical is an acid-based titration between H2SO4 and Na2CO3. That's the trials of a 6 acid and sodium trioxide right? The specific gravity of the acid that you're likely to use is 1.84 grams per cm cube, while the purity ranges between 98 Point zero to 98.7 percent but the one we are using is 98.2 percent and the volume of the stock h2so4 that we are expected to use or to dilute is 2.2 cm cube that's 2.20 cm cube right while the mass of the na2co3 that you expected to prepare is 3.6 grams 3.60 grams right now Note that in whatever I say or purity of the acid you are using, please use that in this calculation. It's not a must that you must use our own values. Use the values of the acid, the assay, and the specific gravity of the H2SO4 that you're working with in your own calculation. This only to serve as a guide, right? All right. So based on this, the first thing we are going to determine is going to be the mass of the conch H2SO4 present in 2.2 cm cube of the acid. All right, let's do that now. Mass of stock H2SO4 used be given by volume of stock times specific gravity of stock when I say stock I mean the concentrated acid times the assay of stock okay so what's the volume we are expected to use here that's 2.20 cm cube while our specific gravity is 1.84 grams per cm cube and our say is 98.2 over 100 so if we evaluate this what will we get so this gives us 3.98 grams so it means that the mass of the acid that will be diluting in one dm cube of water will be 3.98 grams that's 3.98 grams of the stock H2SO4 will be present in the 2.20 cm cube of the acid solution that will be diluting in one dm cube. All right. So from here, now it means that the concentration in grams per dm cube of the H2SO4. I'll be working with will be 3.98 grams per dm cube. All right, 3.98 grams per dm because you are dissolving 2.20 cm cube in one dm cube of water. All right, so the next thing we'll do is to now calculate the concentration in moles per dm cube of the acid using the concentration in grams per dm cube and the molar mass of the acid. So concentration in moles per dm cube of H2SO4. Now dilute, now dilute H2SO4. I got put this dilute that we are using. We're given as concentration. In grams per dm cube. Of the H2SO4 
which is what we calculated in the last slide divided by molar mass of H2SO4 and the concentration in grasp by the energy of H2SO4 that we calculated is 3.98 3.98 grams per dm cube divided by what is the molar mass of H2SO4? Molar mass of H2SO4 is what? That's 1 times 2, right? Plus, plus 32 times 1 plus 16 times 4. So this gives us. 3.98 grams per dm cube divided by 98 grams per mole. So if you evaluate this 0 0.0406 mole per dm cube. So it means that this is the concentration of the acid that you'll be working with, right? That's the approximate concentration of the acid you'll be working that's approximately 0 0.04 moles per dm cube okay so next next thing we are going to do now is to now calculate the concentration of the base so that's concentration of the Na2CO3 in moles per dm cube that we'll be working with so concentration in moles per dm cube of Na2CO3 is given as concentration in grams per dm cube of Na2CO3 divided by the molar mass of Na2 CO3, right? You were told to dissolve 3.6 grams of Na2CO3 in one dm cube of water, so that would be 3.6 grams per dm cube divided by you've calculated the molar mass of Na2CO3, that would be 106 grams per mole, that's in grams per mole, right? So this would be 3.6 grams per dm cube all over. 106 grams per mole so this gives us 0 0.03396 moles per dm cube which is approximately 0 0.0340 moles per dm cube in 3 SF. Alright, so now that we, we have obtained the concentration in moles per dm cube of the base and the concentration in moles per dm cube of the acid, we are going to use these two concentrations to determine the volume of the acid that we are expecting or the expected volume of the acid in the titration. Remember, the volume of the base will be fixed because we are using the pipette to measure the base. The acid will be in the burette, right? So, we are going to use our titration formula and the equation of reaction to determine the volume of the acid expected titer value. Okay? So, first off, let's divide our screen. And write the equation of reaction H2SO4 plus Na2CO3 all aqueous this will give us Na2SO4 plus CO2 plus H2O I hope it's balanced right fine everything is balanced and the more ratio here acid to base is 1 ratio 1 so more ratio Na to NB is 1 ratio 1. Alright, we have the concentration of the acid that's 0 0.0406 approximately 0 
we'll spread dm cube then we have concentration of the base which we've just calculated as 0 0.0340 moles per dm cube we have the volume of the base which is a pipette in this case our own is 25.00 cm cube you may use 20.00 cm whatever you are using use that value in the calculation then our VA is what we are looking for so using CAVA over CBVB equals to NA over NB. So our VA here, first, okay, let's substitute this. We see AVA over CBVB equals to 1 over 1. So it means I can easily say that our CAVA equals to CBVB, right? So our VA here equal to CBVB times 1 all over CA times 1. So if we substitute the values, our CB is what? 0 0.034 while our VB is what? 25 times 1 divided by 0 0.0406 times 1. So if we evaluate everything here, that will give us 20.93 cm cube, which is a reasonable value because the acid is a strong acid where the base is a weak base, right? And being a strong acid, we need a lower volume of the acid to neutralize the base. The base is 25 cm cube. And the acid is stronger than the base. Also, concentration. The calculated concentration. The concentration of the acid is a little bit higher than the concentration of the base. Even though the more ratio is one ratio one, so we'll expect that the volume of the acid used will be lower than the volume of the base. The volume of the base used is 25 cm cube, and the calculated volume of the acid is 20. 0.93 cm cube. So this is your theoretical title value 20.93 cm cube. So whatever you are going to do must revolve around this 20.93 cm cube. Remember, everybody follow the procedures correctly. Any value you get is what okay because all of you are not going to use the same reagent. So stick to your reagent, stick to the values of the reagent you use. Don't try to manipulate your values to be like someone else's own. Stick to the reagents you use, stick to the values of your reagent, use that in your calculation. And use that in your titrations too right and of course i ensure you your students are within the same range of the title values that you obtained right so that they will not be marked down so that brings us to the end of this tutorial so if you were able to learn anything in this video give us a like subscribe to this channel and don't forget to turn on your notification bell right and be able to leave a comment we always want to hear from you all right until we come your way next time remember he who knows not and knows not that he knows not is a fool but he who knows not and knows that he knows not is wise so be humble and continue learning god bless